Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with another scrapbooking process video. Uh, I'm all caught up on my challenges for right now, so I started working backwards through the Scraptacular Cropping Club challenge. So this is one from a few weeks ago, which is to use some tags and to make them uh, a predominant element on the page. So ideally this would be for if you have a lot of tags left over in your stash that have been sitting there, it's a really good opportunity to get them used up. Um, the tags I have, I don't have a lot and I don't hoard them. I use them a lot, as you can see from my layout. So instead of using a whole bunch of them on this page, I decided I would try and make some tags out of some patterned paper. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but initially, I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this page. I just knew I was going to try and make the photo like a giant tag. And that's all I knew I was going to start out with. <laughs> so. I'm in the process of putting that together right now. That wood grain paper is from Michaels, it's just a Recollections brand paper. Uh, the rest is from Peachy Evergreen from Die Cuts with a View. My intentions were to ink everything on this page with that Ranger Distress ink, that's the frayed burlap color. Um, but after that big pad, the um, tag that I ink, I, I forget about it. <laughs> so nothing else gets tag, uh, inked on this page, which is fine. You don't really notice. And that tag with the picture is the main element anyways, so if anyone does notice, it's just drawing your attention to the main element, I guess. <laughs> Just a heads up, I am puppy sitting right now, so if you hear some ruckus or whining or puppy things in the background, that's her. <laughs> I didn't have a hole punch or anything, so I just used some of the nested dies um, to make a giant tag reinforcer there. And then I'm just going to thread that with some twine. So I pulled out one of those DIY shop tags and I'm just going to use that as my template for creating all of the other tags. I'm just going to pull out some of the scraps that are the right size and trim them into that tag shape. I know I want enough tags to span that whole page, so I'm trying to just make sure I have enough different patterns and different colors so that it looks good. <laughs> that pink one I just trimmed up, I don't end up using, uh, I don't realize it until I try and put it on the page, but it's, even though it's a different pattern, the color is the same as that horizontal strip that's already on the page, so it just looks strange there. This is a great way to use up some scraps too. I don't think I used any full sheets from that paper stack. I think the only full sheet is that Recollections background paper. And I move these around a lot. I'm not quite sure how I want them layered up, if I want them uneven or lined up all in a line. So you'll see me take them off, put them back on, move them around until I figure out how it looks good to me. <laughs> I wanted something else on that horizontal element, so I was just trying to find a pattern paper that I could punch a scallop border and tuck up under that pink strip. I didn't have a lot of that green that I used as that hole reinforcer, so I went and I, actually that is a full sheet that I used there, just cut that strip. I knew that wasn't a paper I was going to use as a full 12 by 12 background, so I was okay cutting into it for that little bit. <laughs> but I knew I wanted a green element down there just to mimic the uh, hole reinforcers. I 
And now I'm just cutting some more whole reinforcers from a green scrap. Ideally, I would have hole punched the center of those and put twine through those as well, but I didn't have a hole punch and I don't have a nested die small enough. So I just left them as they were because I didn't want to try and hand make a hole and it just look bad. <laughs> so I just didn't punch a hole at all. <laughs> I got the twine out and was thinking about it. I even cut them. <laughs> but yeah, it's not gonna end up working. And I really wanted to try to find one more uh, pattern I could make into a tag to span that width, but I end up just cutting that one and it, it spans perfectly like that. So I'll just have that pattern paper on either side. And I decided to just line them up straight. I don't think I've ever done a design like this before, so um, I like the idea of taking tags and making them a main focal element, because usually I just use them in my layers as just a little tiny thing, <laughs> not as like the main focal point, so this was a really interesting take. And I'm finally happy with how that looks. <laughs> now I'm just trying to figure out how I can embellish. So I'm going through all of those cut aparts to see if anything speaks to me. Which I don't think any anything does. <laughs> Did pull out a doily there. I saw it needed a little something coming off of that main tag. And now I'm going for my title. Um, this was when my boyfriend first went to church with me. This is our first time going to church together. So I decided the title would just be um, something from the Bible. So John 4.19 just says we love because he lo first loved us. So I thought that was appropriate because it kind of works on multiple levels. It's appropriate to us, but also we were at church. So I think it kind of mirrors the title without writing it all out. <laughs> And then because I used the white foam, I was like, oh, well, let me try to use up some more punctuation. Um, but after I put those asterisks and all of those dots on there, it looked like snow, which would be really cute if it was a winter page or a snow page. But this was uh, April, I think. Um, <laughs> so I didn't want it to look like the page had snow on it. <laughs> and I'm just going through some embellishments. I really like how that pink paisley auburn lane looks with these paper pads, so I'm going to try and get some of those stickers on here. I thought I needed something else for the embellishments, so I went to my wood veneer and I was like, oh, butterflies kind of remind me of faith. I don't know what the connection is there, but to me, it kind of represents it in some way. I'm not sure why that is, but to me it went, so that's what I pulled them out. They've been sitting in my stash for a while, so I had a chance to use them, so I pulled, pulled them out. And I do something different with them that I've never done before. I topped them with patterned paper. So I wasn't sure how it would work at first, so I just tested one out on one of the smaller butterflies. So I just glued the paper to it and then cut around it and then just folded the paper around the corners of the butterfly that used my fingernails to get it in the creases. And it actually looks pretty cute. So I ended up trying to do that for all the butterflies. And I like how it turns out, it was different. I wasn't sure how it would work, <laughs> but it turned out okay. And then that way you're using your wood veneer and it's not just the boring raw wood and you also are using scraps so it coordinates with your pattern paper. It takes me a while to do so I, I speed this part up a lot. <laughs> I'm just trying to use different pattern papers for each one and then I'm trying to spread out the yellow patterns and the green patterns and the floral patterns so 
that similar pattern papers aren't on two butterflies that are next to each other. <laughs> I actually really like how that ends up looking. And then I was thinking about using some enamel dots, but I ended up going back to the pattern paper, or the, not the pattern paper, but the um, alphabets that had all of those punctuation on it and sprinkling um, the dots around again, the periods. But I did get some rose foil hearts sprinkled on throughout there from the sticker sheet. I just thought it wasn't enough. I needed something and the only white that was on there that was dimensional was the title. So I wanted that mimicked throughout the page. So that's why I took those periods and I, I sprinkled them around. I like how it looks that way. I think maybe it was the combination of the periods and the asterisks that was making it look like snow, but it looks okay there to me. So <laughs> I like how that turned out, but this was a fun one. I It was, you know, different again <laughs> with the the whole tag thing, but I really like how it turned out. It was fun to do. So if you're going to give it a try, you can join us. Thanks for watching. Bye.